Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds back for everybody's favorite video. Today's video we have three eBay watch lots I bought. They're a little bit smaller, I bought them, plus another cool finds I found yesterday thrifting. So if you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe. This is how many of you guys are subscribed. Let's um, see if we can up that. Also got the new microphone today, let me know what you guys think. Let's get into the video. Also, I know this is upside down, just in my situation, this is how it works. Well, so here's the lots. This one was 53, 46, 190. So we're going to start low, work our way up. I had to open this one because literally my address is written on the side, the top, the bottom. So the only way for me to show this and not show my address is to have it opened. So we did a little thrifting yesterday. We picked up this ladies Tissot. Paid 20 bucks. Good deal. And don't worry, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you my three best finds and see if they work. Three or four. Goofy watch. Paid five bucks. Sells for about 50, but I liked it. I thought it was kind of cool. Usually Disney stuff sells quite well for me, so I bought it. This is a Burke Sterling candy dish. This is just plastic. But as you can see, Burke Sterling, 97 grams. I bought this at a thrift store yesterday. They told they knew it was sterling silver. I paid, a, I think it was 30. So as you can see, pretty good deal. Now, since that's out of the way, let's start with this box and jump into it. Also, let me know, guys, what you think the best and worst deal of the day was in terms of the boxes. Oh, what's it? And T, okay. Looks kind of old. Kind of like it, honestly. That's all. So, I mean, let's just start with this bag. See what we got. So like I said, everything here was like 53 and change. First item. This is a ladies York. Does it work? Let's see. It's taking a wind. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to... Um, Yeah, I wound it, nothing happened. Next up, we have a ladies laurel. Everything looks like it's there. Little wind up. Same thing, nothing. Next, we have a ladies no name. 14k gold filled. Let's see what it is. And this one runs. Let's just see if the um, movement's marked. There we go. Of what this is. So this is a. Oh, Omega! Oh, okay, was not expecting that. Case is not marked. Um, how close can I want that falling out of the thing? Close as I can get it. Um, let's zoom in. There we go. 17 jewels. Wow. Let's not see if we take that out of the case. That's weird. The case, that's not marked. The front. But okay, we got a fully, that's got to be worth a couple bucks. So, that might be one of the best finds of the day. We'll have to see, and it does run. I'll put it on my time graph for later, and I'll tell you guys how it runs. Safety chain's broken. That's an easy removal. Next order of business. Gruen Precision. 
that is gold, yeah, gold plaque, gold filled. Does it work? No. Fully wound. Doesn't seem to want to do much of anything. Hands move. Okay. Next up, we have a... Elpson's Classic. Okay. And starts and stops. Piece of strap. This bag was also in there. And this is the reason why I bought this watch a lot. I really like Seiko. Oh, I didn't even realize that. The tank watches, but that's all kind of, yeah. Yeah, see all the hour markers are moved. Okay. Maybe not as nice as I thought, but okay, whatever. Probably sell that as a project then. I don't really want to put them all back together. They have a lot numbers, so I wonder if this they were bought at auction or if this is how the seller does them. Cardinal, 17 jewels. Busted. Here we have a Seiko tank watch. A little bit dirty condition. Take this. Does it work? Oh, it's taking a wind. That's usually quite a good sign if it takes a wind. Yep, yeah, running like a hot dam. You hear that tick, 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 tick. Seiko, good quality watches. Always make sure, too, the hands move. Good. Change the strap. Sellable. We got two watches lot left in the lot. Caraval Quartz. Oh, sorry, Cardinal Quartz. Kind of rough condition. I don't know why people ship them like that. Oh, Seiko Classic. Good shape. Lady Stretch Watch. It's a Seiko. Probably works. So, that was the first bag. Now let's move on to the second, second. one. 5374. I'll open this and come and back. back. There's a lot of tape, which I do respect. Here we go. So I'll put the bag on my lap and go one at a time. Now I know some of you guys have said that I cherry pick them or I do them in a particular order or I show you the best last. That's not true. I have them on my lap. I don't even look. I just pull out random ones. Husky. Works. I mean, somebody who likes Huskies would probably give me a couple bucks for it. Stop a pony. Kind of fashion watch. Here's a Ann Klein. I actually kind of like that. Nice enough watch. Um, everything's there. Ann Klein sells pretty well for me. Hormelton Electra. They're the fake Hamiltons that people sold in New York out of those jackets back in the day. Like they open up their trench coat, then they have, oh, look at me, I got a bunch of watches. Here's a nice one, Lady Citizen. Clean watch, good shape. Probably have to change the strap, it's not a huge deal. Yeah, strap's coming apart. You can see, maybe, maybe glue it? We'll see. But still, that's a nice lady's watch. Elgin. I think this is why I bought this lot was for this Elgin. I thought this was the coolest watch I've seen in a long time. Looks like a Rolex date date. Okay, yeah, everything flips as it should. Little bit of shake in the case. Definitely put a battery in that, see if it works. See what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, that's not a good sign. The battery's corroded like that. Okay. I hope this works. We'll see. This will be one of the best finds. 
So I'll come back at the end and see if it works. Next up we have a... Oh, Victoria Knox. This is the other reason why I bought this one. Does this work? Butterfly clasp works. Now what's this missing? Oh, I see it's missing a screw there. Again, not a huge deal, but I guess this is a small wrist watch. Is that a screw or a pin? Are these, are these just pins? No, these, yeah, these are screws. Yeah, okay. So, um, two options. Either change the strap, put a leather strap or another metal strap, or see if I can find the screw just to re-screw it. I don't want to take any of these screws out here because this is already such a small watch. We'll put that in the better finds. Paul Jordan roulette watch and it works. Big boy watch. Watch strap. Carriage by Timex. I mean, watch is in kind of rough shape. Watch strap, fake leather, but as you can see, pretty bad shape. Ambience, again, um, this garbage. Here we have a, what's this? Caravel. Now this, oh, is it missing the hour hand? I did not, or sorry, it's missing the minute hand. I did not realize that. Yeah, and it's fully wound. So yeah, there's not much I can do with that. These ladies cocktail that don't work, I usually bunch them in lots. Usually sell them for like $10 each. Now we're on the last couple. Ladies Timex. Minimal must. Nice watch. That'll definitely sell, you know, probably 40 bucks. Not a huge deal, but, you know, some money. Style & Co. But as you can see, yeah, the... Numbers are jumping around. So I think those two I mainly bought it for the Victoria Knox, which is worth a little bit of money. And the Elgin. So let's jump to the last last one. box. Most expensive box. Um, had to open it. Let's just remove this. How did they? Let's just take them all out. Put that like that. Put a few watches in here. More watches. Now I believe all the batteries have been changed on these. So I'm um, just jump and do it. I do appreciate the effort the seller went into. First off, we have a Pulsar Ladies. Real simple ladies watch. Um, change the strap. That'll be a good watch. Next up, we have a Lady Citizen. Same thing, really clean little watch. I sell these for $60, $70. So definitely that's a good find. This is a BBG. The, not a huge seller for me, but as long as they're clean, I generally pick them up. But still not a bad little watch. A little bit of corrosion up there. But that can be polished out. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open all these because I'm sure this is loud and kind of annoying. I'm going to open all these then show you guys but I won't look so at we're them. we're back. That seller had those packaged extremely, extremely well. So I just did it off camera because they were taped, bagged, bubble wrapped. Save some time. So we got some good ones I think. Here we have a Seiko 5. Um... I didn't shake it. Give it a little, give it the old shake, Seiko. And there we go. See it gliding. It's a day date. Automatic. Beautiful watch. In my market, these nice lady Seiko sell quite well. Sorry, I had a sneeze. So um, next up we have this Seiko tank. 
I'm a huge fan of the tanks. Those sell great for me, especially the adjustable straps. So if a lady's got a big wrist, smaller wrist, she can enjoy this watch. This is plastic, so I would buff that out a little bit. Clean it a little bit. Good to go. This one, I think it's a mechanical. Yeah, mechanical. Beautiful, beautiful condition. A little bit. There we go. Yeah, just see. Just beautiful condition. Beautiful shine. Next up, we have a Bulova. Ladies. That's a T8 1998. Good thing about this is it's a fairly big risk. So that's good. Next up, we have this. This is a Seiko. About like 32 millimeter. Just beautiful watch. And he even changed all the batteries. So I can just list them. Another Lady Seiko. Adjustable strap. And I don't mind paying a bit more when I know the batteries have been changed. And honestly, if I could just sell Seikos, I'd probably have a decent business. Seiko tank. Look at that. You can see the second hand going vintage style adjustable bracelet. I'll use a um silver one of those silver polishing rags. Just give that a little bit of a buff. You'd be surprised. It comes out pretty well. I shall show that at the follow up at the end. Citizen. This one, the strap's a little busted. But not a big deal. It's like a eight millimeter. I'll change it. And just beautiful watch. Do that a little closer. So you guys can see that. Yeah, there we go, a little better. Next up, we have a Seiko. Now, the Seiko Blacks aren't a huge seller for me. So, like I said, it wasn't that much money. So I thought I'd give it a try. But generally, these aren't my favorite watches. Next up, we have another Seiko tank. Adjustable strap. Decent condition, same thing, just a little bit of a toothbrush, a little bit of a plastic polish, look like a million bucks. Next up we have a Citizen Quartz. Now this seller, he was selling these individually on eBay in the US. I'm Canadian. So I messaged him, hey, would you give me a deal if I bought a lot? So I cherry picked what I liked, then he gave me quite a good deal. Combined shipping, of course. Gold Lady Citizen. Just beautiful. Adjustable strap. This one even has the... Oh, I see. Like, okay, I was a bit confused there. Next up, we have a Seiko. Beautiful design. Straps had it. It's not a huge deal. I have extra straps. Next up, we have a Citizen tank watch. Needs a little bit of a cleaning. Not a big deal, just a little bit of a cleaning. Seiko. Quartz watch. Gold sells quite well for me, I'll be honest. Here we have a Caravel by Bulova. I see this is a little bit... Yes, this is, needs to be pushed down, not a huge deal. This is a P7 1987. I like this one. Could be unisex. Silver, date. Nice little watch. Last watch. We have a Ladies Whitnauer Diamond. These sell quite well for me. Just a beautiful, beautiful watch. So, now I'm going to pick my three favorite watches. We're going to come back, see if they work. Um, be back so in a So, we're sec. back. Fortunately, the Elgin inside is just toasted. As you can see, there's just... And you can see there's corrosion there. This watch is not working. Next up, we have the Victoria Knox. Same thing. I changed the battery. Dead as a doorknob. I'm sure for parts or scrap projects, I can get something for them. Last favorite is the Omega. 
this movement's from 1935. So here's one on Etsy, similar era, and it, they want that. Now, I assume this watch has got to be worth, you know, maybe 200 bucks. You know, it's an Omega. It's nice. It runs well. I put on the time grapher. So, um, there you go. So I think we did pretty good in the video. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.